Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to associate Google account with a device in laptop or PC. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. Let's get started. So how do we exactly associate our Google account here with a device in our laptop or PC? So first things first is we need to discuss how Google accounts are associated into our devices. So the thing with devices here is in order for you to add them into your Google account, you need to sign in into them personally. So you need to have actual access on that device in order for you to add it into your Google account. So how do we exactly add that? Well, typically speaking, in order for you to add those devices into your Google account, you just need to go ahead and open up any browser. So either Google Chrome, Firefox, or any other uh, account or browser you have there. And just go to google.com and click on sign in at the top right here. Now provide your email, add your password, and verify yourself. Now once you've signed in into your Google account, you have now successfully just added your Google account or your device here into your Google account. So it might not be obvious that, uh, because Google actually records the device that you've logged in. So how do we actually verify that? So you can actually go to the fo following website here, which is going to be myaccount.google.com. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to go to security. And in here, you wanna go and scroll down a bit here until you see the your devices section. Let's go ahead and click on manage all devices. Now in here, you should be able to see the sessions or Windows 10 sessions that you have right now for your devices. Now you could go ahead and click on that session here. And as you can see, this is the information about the uh, actual um, uh, device. So you could even access all the devices here like Android devices or other laptops they added in here. So in this case, as an example, you could go ahead and click, one, uh, click on one of the devices here, click on the sign out option if you want to remove them from your account here. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.